Hello makers, so I am in my office and I'm right next to my Moai. Now I, I never talked a lot about my Moai, I've done some prints, I've done some projects with it, but I never made a review and to be completely honest, um, the review that that Maker's Muse had done pretty much covers it and to give you my short version of this machine is just absolutely insane for the price you get and the build volume if you want a resin printer if you want a proper sla printer this is the one you need to go for and yes it comes as a kit um instructions are really good and you know what it does amazing prints but anyway i use this quite a lot i actually use this to print customer prints mostly especially architectural models and um at the moment it's it's a, it's a bit cold and you tell me what does that matter it's just cold yes but unfortunately cold doesn't really do well with resin when it comes to sla printers let me show you exactly what i mean see that those are remnants of a failed print and if we go up you'll see that it basically started to print fine then we start printing supports but nothing attached to the supports and then then just it went downhill from here also while i'm here this is the easy level build plate and i've replaced the uh, the vat with an fep vat which is which is which is so much better the main cause of that is cold um the colder it is usually anything under 20 degrees it's just basically it kills your resin print so you have to keep the temperature up now to counteract that Peo poly have started selling this and this is a heater which basically hold on you simply grab you put it in the corner there you plug it in where it comes out this will still close relatively actually you know what let's Let's just attach it. See, it goes there. Now the wire will be slightly loose here. Um, for now, I can definitely just sort of, you know, just, you know, drill a hole on the side or something to make it prettier. But for now, this will work. And then you just simply close it. No, it won't close all the way but it'll close enough. Once it's plugged in, we can simply switch it on and you can hear the fan wearing. So that's gonna heat up and it's gonna just circulate heat around here. It should bring the temperature up in the chamber at around 30, 35 degrees, which is optimal for the resin. So what I'm gonna do now is simply remove all that, clean that, give it maybe half an hour, one hour to heat up the chamber and then we'll uh, We'll try to print once again and see the difference. Okay, so that's been cleaned. That's been cleared. So now, it's already starting to get warm here. Oh yeah, always safety first, wear gloves. When, when using resin, always, always wear gloves. I'm gonna let that heat up and we'll start to print. It is now day two. I left it printing overnight um, and it's time to see what it looks like. Well, I know what it looks like already because I've just checked, okay? There you have it, complete. Time to get this off, clean it a bit and show you in detail what it looks like. It nice and clean looks absolutely flawless this still needs to cure of course but yeah definitely heater success so if you do have a Peo Poly Moai or any other SLA printer try to keep in mind that in winter it gets a bit more difficult for the resin to cure so just make sure you keep everything warm or the uh, the printer in a warm environment anything over 25 degrees is very good um, and yeah, you'll always have beautiful results. So that's it. Um, that's how, that is the difference a heater makes from a 
completely failed print and frustration to a beautifully made SLA print. Now as for the review, I will eventually make a review of the Moai. Honestly speaking, I have nothing but good things to say about it. It's been a workhorse of mine. No, it's not cheap, but it's definitely the best you can get for that money when it comes to a laser SLA printer. And uh, I, I'd recommend it to anyone. The kit, um, it's, it's not as straightforward as a 3D printer kit, but it's still a very good kit. Easy instructions to put together. So expect to put it together in about six to eight hours. And yeah, I'll definitely do more prints. I'll do more print and paint projects definitely involving the Moai. I had already one set up, but ah, my wife broke it. She dropped it, broke it because she wanted to clean my office, so. Yeah, Harlequin will have to be redone. That is it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you want links to the Pale Poly Moai or the heater, I will leave them in the video description. As always, happy making, guys. <music>